Black holes are awesome. <laughs> I could talk about Saturn all day. Horoscopes are dross. I think I'd want to be a space tourist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People ask me what was before the Big Bang and you're like well there was no before because time didn't exist until the Big Bang. How old is the universe? Like, we think we know it. We think it's 13.8 billion years. We have lots of different methods for measuring the age of the universe, and they all come up with a different answer. You know, people don't have friendly neighborhood astrophysicists, right? That's not a thing that people have. And so I wanted to be someone that people really felt like they had a connection with to the world of research and to an actual scientist that's working on the cutting edge of research right now. You know, I don't represent all of the minorities in STEM fields, but I want to show people that, you know, you can be a serious academic scientist, but you can also love nail polish and Taylor Swift and also then chat about how cool black holes are at the same time. I want to show people that there's nothing that's mutually exclusive with being a scientist. All you really need is just enthusiasm for the subject. I could literally stare at this thing all day. It's gorgeous. Like, Hogue's object, eat your heart out. The cartwheel galaxy has got one up on you. I love that I don't know where my day is going to take me. I can get into work and think this is gonna be a really slow day, I don't know what I'm gonna to do today. And then a colleague can walk in and be like, I've just made this graph and I don't understand what it means. And by the end of the day, you've changed your worldview or your universe view of what you thought a theory was or what you thought was the right answer to a question. question. I specialize in supermassive black holes. We think we understand, but we don't quite understand and we'll never really truly be able to see them and the idea of that sort of mystery around them has always intrigued me and I just knew that I wanted to study them for my job. I was one of those kids that absolutely loved space. I thought all the facts must be known about space and we must know everything there is to know and it was only when I got into high school that I realized actually no one knew the answers to the questions I was asking. And when I realized that, I realized I could be the person that answers those questions.